Hello everyone, welcome to Research and Analysis. My name is Dr. Kamran. In today's video, I'm super excited to discuss about Gen AI, which is an amazing AI tool that can help you in your research journey. If you are writing your research article, you are working on your thesis, or even if you are working on any other research assignment, then this tool is very helpful. So in this video, I walk through all the major features of Gen AI. You can access Jenny by using this web address, jenny.ai. If you have already created your account, you can simply log in. Otherwise, you can create your account by clicking this start writing. You can create your account by using your credentials. You can write your name, email address and password. And it is very simple to create account. Otherwise, you can also continue with your Google account. Although there are many features of Jenny, but you can mainly divide those features into three main areas. First is for writing then is for citation management and finally you can use it for editing purpose. Main features include in-text citation. You can change citation styles into more than 1700 different citation styles according to the requirement of your university or targeted journal. Obviously the most powerful feature of Jenny is related to writing. It can, you can call it a helping hand throughout your research writing starting from generating the ideas then writing literature reviews if you need to come up with a specific outline then obviously jenny will be helpful if you have written something and you want to improve the language then you can use jenny if you have written something and you want to paraphrase you can use jenny if you have written something but it lacks citations you can search the relevant citations through jenny and if you want to summarize uh, different articles then the jenny is available for you and finally you can use jenny for the editing purpose you can export your document in the word and as well as latex format uh, mean to say you do not need to write on Microsoft Word. You can directly write on uh, Jenny's interface and once your document is completed, you can export to Word or Latex format. On Jenny's website, you can see it is trusted by top universities and businesses all around the world. And you can see some big names, including the University of Cambridge, University of Oxford, Stanford University, and so on. You can also see the reviews from the top academics all around the world who are recommending Jenny for research writing. Without any delay, let's start exploring Jenny AI. After login, you will have this Jenny AI screen and here you can see three main options of including documents, library and AI chat. You can also explore these three options by using this plus new sign and here you can see three options again document AI chat and upload PDFs. In fact these are just the same as you can see in, on your main screen. If you want to start writing your literature review or want to start any uh, your search article you can simply click this document option. But if you have certain PDFs which you can use to write your literature reviews and want to use them at the later stages then it is better just to upload those PDFs on your library. So for, for this purpose, you will only click this library and you can see there are few PDFs are already available on my library. If I want to include more documents, more PDFs to my library, I will simply select this upload option. And from here, I can upload up to 10 PDFs in one go. By the way, if you do not have PDFs, but you know specific sources in terms of bib, or even if you know the DOI numbers, you can paste their DOI numbers as well, then they will become the part of your library. Among this list, you can see all of them are PDFs, but except the first document. As you can see, here is still missing. You can't open PDF as others. And here I can upload the PDF of that article as well by using this upload option. By the way, I have created this article by using the DOI numbers which you can do as well, but again, you can go from uploads from here, just paste UI number and this is how you can create citation or you can add that article without PDF as well. But at the later stage, if you find their PDFs, then you can upload that PDF as well. By the way, if you want to use the chat option and you uh, or if you want to further explore those articles, then it, is, it will be better just to upload those PDFs. 
If you have just started your research journey and you are not clear about the final topic of your research, then it will be better just to brainstorm by using this AI chat. In AI chat, you can see, let me just start with the new one. Here you can see the prompts related to research questions as well as writing help. But obviously we are interested in finding research ideas for other topics. So let's select first prompt, find research ideas. So here it has written us the detailed prompt. Let me paste my topic here, A adoption and imply performance. Let's just simply send. See, AI chat has provided us multiple topics option related to AI adoption and imply performance. What we can do, we can brainstorm around these topics, then we can select any of these given topics as well. If you want to further explore any of these given topics, we can use these given citations, we can read these relevant articles, and this is a good idea, only then we should finalize our topic. Once you are done with finalization of your research topic, then you can move on to start writing your relevant literature review. But if you are already clear about your topic, then you can right away start from writing your document. Simply click this new and from here document. And here it is asking us our research question. I have written a research question, how does AI adoption help in transfer of training? Let's just change it to, I guess it is fine with this topic. And then it has asking us about the outline option, whether we need an, any outline in the form of standard headings or creative headings. Let's just move on with the second option. In additional setting, we have some options regarding the citation style. I guess it is okay to move on with APA. Then R2 cite from new sources. Okay, it is okay to enable it. Then R2 cite from library. Since I haven't any PDF regarding this topic, so it is better just to uh, disable this uh, R2 cite from library. And then citation recency filter, I guess it is okay to on it because we are interested in those articles that are published after 2020. Obviously, you can change this filter as well. For example, if we are only interested in those articles that are published after 2021, then I will select 2021. Then I will simply select this start writing. See, it has provided us an outline for our search article and also it has provided us the introductory sentences of our introduction. If I feel it is okay to move on with these sentences, then I will simply select this accept. Now it will write more and it has provided us another citation. If I feel it is okay, just simply select accept. Uh, if I am okay with these sentences as well, I can simply select accept every time. Jenny's autocomplete was made to suggest text line by line because they want writers to understand it better and maintain control over what goes into their paper. Remember that for any, at any stage, I want any change. For example, uh, let's just select these sentences, but I want some changes in it. For example, I want to elaborate it a bit, bit more. So I will simply select it. And from here, you can see some further options, including AI edit. I will select this. I can paraphrase it. I can simplify it. I can even make it longer. For example, let's just click make longer. So it is working. If I am okay with these sentences, then I can simply select this replace selection. If I am okay with that, then I can select again. And now it is suggesting us another heading. So I feel the relevant heading is okay. I will simply select accept. See, it has provided us the uh, relevant heading. Now again, it has provided us some text. Simply select accept. Since this topic is quite new and there are only few articles that are relevant with AI adoption and training and development. So that's why you can see some repetition of citations as well. It's not mandatory that you must rely on Jenny. You can write in your own words and after that you can ask Jenny just to paraphrase it and you can also uh, add your own citation as well. 
For example, if you have the access to digital library, you can download relevant PDFs. You can upload those PDFs in your library and then while writing your introduction, your literature review and other sections of your research article, you can only rely on those articles that are given in your library. So if you are a bit more conscious about the quality of the research articles or if you can only rely on uh, only those articles that are indexed in specific category so you can only select or upload only those PDFs then you can write everything based on the data that you will provide in the form of those articles. So in the same way if you feel this is okay you can simply select accept and after that again it has written us more simply select accept if you are just fine with the introduction this is just a, a you know <laughs> just an exemplary thing but obviously it's not like mandatory you must rely on these headings of course we can use our own creativity as well we should know what should be the part of the introduction after that we can move on to next section literature review and we can simply select and it will start writing our literature review for example if i want some citation regarding these two sentences I can simply select these two uh, sentences and from here uh, go to the site and just search the relevant citations for example and now Jenny is just searching the relevant citations related to these two sentences for example if I feel okay this is a good article and it is listed in a good database emerald so let's just cite this one so again see it has provided us the citation again dot and then just select okay if i feel it is okay to accept it accept and again accept but i want citations regarding these two sentences so i will simply select and from here again go to site and it will search the relevant articles let's just select this first one see this is how you can write the complete article using this jenny I have selected these sentences and now I, I can use this AI edit and from here I can click simplicity I can also summarize it so let's just use it uh, to summarize if I feel this is the summarized form and I am okay with it I can simply select this replace selection again I want to remove this dot so this is how you can write all the sections of your research article again very important thing you do not need to just copy and paste in your document you can directly export this document from here by using this export option for example let's just use this export option and from here i can select either the latex or word format see it has downloaded a document in the word format let's just open it see this document is in the proper format and uh, it contain both the in-text citations and as well as the complete references along with their DOIs if we want to move on to any specific uh, reference we can simply select this control and click so it will take us to our complete reference here another important thing if you want to make sure the authenticity of the sources that are provided by Jenny you can simply click any of these citations and from here you can simply select this view and it will take you to that particular article now you should read this article just to make sure that the data that is provided by Jenny is correct and verified in terms of pricing there are limited features that you can use by using free version but if you want to use unlimited features then it will cost you $30 per month but with the annual uh, plan you can get 60% discount here is a good news if you will use my provided link and the discount code then you will get additional 20% discount I will provide the link in the description and you can use the discount code comran 20 to get 20% discount I hope this video will be helpful to understand the key features of Jenny AI. Thanks for watching.